Well, in other news this evening, a packed crowd in the Northland for the first public hearing about two ordinances passed by the City Council aimed at shifting more than $42 million from the Police Department into a special community services and prevention fund. The four council members representing the Northland were the only ones who voted no on this ordinance. Our reporter Nick Starling was there and shows us the debate that took place inside those four walls. This was a chance for the four Northland Council members hear directly from their constituents on the KCPD reallocation of funds that they all voted against. They got an earful from those against this plan and also some that do support it. We need to back the officers. We need to take care of them. When it comes to increases in funding historically has not resulted in reduced crime. Sparring of opinions inside a standing room only meeting as the four Northland council members along with state reps hear from those who live here about the KCPD funding shift. Those against fear a lack of protection. It terrifies me how many cops are on the street in the Northland and if something were to happen to my babies Who's going to come? Or didn't like how this process played out when this happened so fast last Thursday. We are all voters and we elected these four people to represent us and they were shut out. And I didn't feel like I was actually being a person here in the Northland because we weren't talked to about it. Even to the point of the Northland seceding from KC. We elect our own government and we start our own city, and we separate from Kansas City. The crowd largely cheered against the reallocation. However, there are a few who didn't have the same opinions and think the $42 million could be spent better. I'm a taxpayer, and whether we have one or one million police officers for the past three years is telling it doesn't make a difference because crime's still rising. The money that's being reallocated is money that now we the people get to have some knowledge about where it's going. It's going right back where it came from, you all, just with certain parameters on how it can be best and effectively used to keep our city safe. Reporting in Kansas City North, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. So here's a breakdown on the change in the budget. Missouri law dictates Kansas City's police department must receive at least 20% of the general fund. The city already approved the police budget for the 2021-2022 fiscal year at a little more than 25% of the general fund. So this change redirects the extra 5% that will need to be negotiated between the police department and the city manager. It cannot be used for any other program. The Board of Police Commissioners will meet tomorrow morning for a closed meeting to discuss litigation concerning the ordinances. On Monday, commissioners voted to establish a committee to explore potential